Hello again, welcome back to another daily Binding of Isaac Repentance. That lag was a little unnecessary there. Remote play together, notification from Steam. I dare you. Another cane ride today. Eight ri wins in a row? I mean, that's cool. See it here, CD9X12V9. Make sure I'm recording, make sure everything is up to snuff. It looks like everything's okay. Okay. Yep. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, late morning right now, so I don't normally do videos in the mornings. Unless if I'm streaming and it's a little bit later than usual. I might do a little something like that. Um, did some Elden Ring stuff yesterday. Or, yeah, last night. And, uh, yeah, I uh, started my new game three. So, and I'm already, like, completed two bosses, too, on top of that. Major bosses. Kind of speeding up things here. Um, still gotta go through a couple of quest lines to get some, like, other stuff. It is the poopy. The dirty mines. Oh, look at me. I'm just covered in all kinds of butt goop. Anyways, uh, yeah. I'm a little tired, but that's fine. I gotta definitely eat some more later. Um, oh my goodness gracious. Do not die from these guys. They're just a bunch of bugs. I didn't really do any PvP stuff, or much of it last night. It was more in the lines of like getting things prepared to do in-game plus three and whatever else. So I don't really have to do the Ronnie missions now if I don't want to, but I can get some XP out of it or like ruins out of the bosses and stuff. I go all separate. So this run, I'm going to have to turn uh, one of these NPCs into a, uh, a puppet so I can get an ash from that, summoning ash. And then my next run, I'm going to have to do it for another NPC. So I got to turn them into an, a type of ash. And then I think that is all of them. I think that'd be all of the ashes I can get is insane. Yeah, it's going to jeopardize my ability to get a uh, several engine Dragonstone and stuff, but uh, whatever. If we got the ashes that the one run, then that's all I need to do. One and done. I noticed this thing right here, by the way, moving around. Has that always been a thing? Or is it like a recent update? I think that might be like a recent update. It's like some kind of skeleton arm thing. What the heck? Or is that like a repentance thing that they started animating that stuff? Because sometimes you can step on like little bugs and make little blood marks on the ground. But I never noticed like something like that. It's amazing how your brain kind of emits that kind of information. It's like, oh yeah, look at that. I seen a video yesterday about uh, floaters. It was like in my recommendation feed for videos. And it's talking about floaters. And these floaters, they, uh, you know, it's, it could be a combination of things. And over time, you get more and more of them when you get older and then your brain just kind of automatically phases them out. It's kind of like when you're born and stuff like that, 
you know, well, I mean, actually, I don't know. Like, at some point when you're born, you get used to, like, phasing out your nose from being in the way. Health up, good. Unless you, like, just focus on it. It's like, ah, oh, it's annoying. Ah, I can't get it. Unless you got, like, a really obvious big fat nose or something to where it's, like, blocking it completely. This room's like a paradise for these little poops, by the way. So hearts, red hearts, something hearts. Okay. We can't make any more of these guys. All right, get in there, little fellas. Fight in my honor. Faster. That helps. And we get a random spewer, whatever. That is a health up. We're just gonna, like, get rid of the rest of these poops in here. Get like a penny out of it and a golden heart. And of course, a little army of uh, dingles. Seen that there was a video posted on YouTube, YouTube talking about like, yeah, people with 99 arcane and if, and if they're a host of a server for PvP and uh, Elden Ring, they can one hit kill like weak players. I'm like, ooh, they can, huh? Well, I better raise my arcane all the way to 99. I go, well, I kind of wonder because it's like I, I took down a player with one shot with this uh, madness, like sniper like incantation oh there goes my devil deal lol you don't need it though man I like a money in this game oh someone on my uh friends list on steam is playing elden rain huh wow gee i wish i had that kind of game Oh, we, got, we just got a dime out of that. Like, really lucky. I didn't expect to get a dime out of that. Okay. I gotta say, it's like, oh, it'd be nice to have a little bit of money to get that stopwatch. Get him! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Just bounce around like that? You little jerk. So yeah, there's some kind of like glitching going on with that too. Because I think what happened was when they fixed the scaling for Arcane, it went across the board to PvP like really hard. I don't mind that. If you if you let me if you just don't patch that and let me get to 99 naturally. I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respect the 99. That's absurd for me. Um because I'm in the 40s or arcane right now. Though I want to get faith up as well. A, a high faith and arcane build. Please. Please. Oh, squeezy. Is it going to be one of those runs where it's like. You get no damage, but you get a bunch of tears up again. This is what this is gonna be. All right, telekinesis. I need like a, I need some flight too. Stat. 
I'm gambling on the idea that I'm gonna have five more cents to get one of these special items here. So we can get those three pennies there. But I don't wanna walk into anything weird. I need some damage. Gosh darn it. So yeah, and uh, I'm gonna be watching the Halo show later today. Let's see what happens now as it crashes and burns for each episode. Wow, crash and burn. Sounds like fun. You know what? That's what I, I wanted here. It's just kind of bigger. Risky as hell, but... Eh. That's okay. At least that gives me more consumables. I was hoping like a sin robes or something. Okay, I think that already paid out. Mom's, oh God. Mom's key. Oh God. <laughs> Would give us more payouts out of chests. One second here, I gotta scratch my ear. My, my ears are so itchy right now. Well, my one it ear. Like, I wash them and stuff, but, uh. Thank you for the five cents. I wash them and stuff, but, uh, they get itchy whenever I put these earphones on. Might have to wash them or something. I thought about maybe the possibility of getting some Bowie here, like earplugs or whatever. Just something compact so I can just plug them in, listen to the volume of this game or whatever, and not have these big bulky things around my head. But the thing is, I'm I don't I'm not used to like wearing those earpieces. They gotta be something comfortable and they can stay in place and everything else. So how may Gouda? Okay, well, there's not much there. Can't get in there because, you know, <laughs> red hearts. Okay, I thought we had like a curse of a maze or something going on where it's just shifting everything. But we don't. Yeah, survivability. This will, this will start eating them up. This AOE ground effect. Slimed. Gotta get slimed. Fortunate that it was an easy boss. Duality? Hmm. Yeah. And we'll take the brimstone here. Because I'm going to need something. All right, let's go to there. Oh, my God. Again, 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 again. <laughs> Got to be more careful, Sonny. Gets mom's... Uh, mom's key. Gets a singular item. Hey, dime. I'll shut up now. <laughs> I write a positive review of this film, even though I don't like it, and I'm being paid to say this is good. 
It reminds me of like Forbes magazine. I feel like it's written by old people. And it's like you know, they post these sensationalist articles and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, just like some little trendy thing. They don't even know what what's going on. Look at that, look at those poops. <laughs> and they just post something like late in the game. That's another thing. They like for one, they post something fairly late into like a trending thing going on. And then it's also something kind of cringy on top of it. Like, okay. Hello, fellow kids. I see you like the Pokemon, Pokemons, the Pokemans thing. It's Pokemon, not Pokemans. That's a streamer. She's so, like, not, like, great anymore. I don't, I don't have an opinion of of her. It's just, uh, what the hell? Okay. They just die and they just drop hearts. Okay. Did you hear what this streamer did? Gossip! Well, let me break out my popcorn and see the rise or fall of this streamer. No, I kid. But but you gotta know what's going on in their every waking moment of their life. That's what the paparazzi's for. can't just say those things. Oh God. They're coming for me. This could be risky, but it's gotta be a worthy risk. Haha. <laughs> well, you know, actually, hold on a second. That's an extra health up and now heal us a little bit. So that's not, too uh, absurd here. The more hit points, the more the better. You know, like like in Elden Ring, the more vigor, the better. Like a lot better. Like literally, you need vigor, high vigor to like do it, or you'd be like the greatest player of all time to be parrying and be a level one rich, with a hammer and a stick. Oh, not not a hammer, but like a uh, a club and a uh, shield. Or you one of the speedrunners who just skip every boss. That's cool. You kids did these days. It used to be where games were fun, and now it's like, let's skip everything. Golly. I remember when games were like a penny a game. Or like, ten dollars? Oh, I did. I wasn't even thinking. What the hell was I doing? I got so far into this. See here, it's P E K one S V F three. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. That was a, a oof on my part. I was getting really into character with that. Back of my day. Games were ten dollars, right? You know how much we were paid per hour every day? Twenty? Uh, a nickel. We're paid a nickel. Yeah, like if it was that crazy, like with wages like that back then, you try to pay for a video game, guy. I can't imagine what a house would look like. Hey, small rock. We get our damage up for once. We're sticking last. Now we're starting a new fresh streak after I messed that up. We're back. 
We're back. Maybe. I had so many good things going on there, and then it's like... Can you sabotage it on purpose for views? No. Not like that. You hear what Rebecca said about you? Yeah, she said you, you, you got some garbage hair. Your run sucked. Oh, what we got here? Black market, maybe? Come on. Contagion, I'll take it. Oh my god, no! You little bastard. <laughs> did, I, did I... Okay, he's gone. What to say is like... I wasn't sure if I killed him and then got out and then he just respawned. Oh yeah, that's the catch, all right. He's, he's gotta be swooping down to get you. Thank you. So kind. So kind. All right, we gotta hightail it here. I seen that there was a, a comment about, uh, I don't know, it's like a lead developer or something like that for 343 talking about, like, uh, you know, criticism and kind of a rant about things and, uh, with what's been happening the last, you know, whenever. And yeah, a lot of good points. I think it kind of touches on the idea about toxic communities. And I'm not saying everybody's toxic in each kind of community. You know, game communities, uh, you know, I don't know about comics. I'm not too familiar with that kind of industry. Big poops. And, uh... I watched a video today talk about someone. I keep getting stuck in these videos, so I apologize. But, like, ah, I can't believe they said this about Elden Ring. Stuff. Talk about never playing it and uh, giving a review on it that it was bad because of the community. I don't think the entire community is bad. Just hear me out on this. Like, I. Okay, so I'm not an expert with. The Souls games. I haven't been part of the Souls community for long. So just hear me out. Hear me out. There's some people, not the entire community. There's a very small minority of people who are a little too aggressive when it comes to, like, standards of people playing the game and how they play the game. That's why there's like a memes everywhere now with Elden Ring. It's like, oh, you open your screen up to do anything, you didn't beat the game. <laughs> Stuff like that. Essentially, it means that they're making fun of these extreme hardcore people who criticize other people for having fun. Essentially. And not the way that they're going to play it. So you got that kind of that aspect, right? And then you got like Halo community. Now, yeah, I'm kind of like talking about standards and stuff, but that's because there was promises that wasn't kept from the developers and also like there's been time and time again these games keep getting like broken and not not developed right and all sorts of stuff and there's a huge huge line of history with that going on since so it's, so it's like halo 4 and so <laughs> so like we're going on a decade now so i do vocal i do vocal my you know saltiness and stuff with, with that kind of thing going on 
But I'm not going to hardcore doing it like every day. You know, ranting on forums or something and going ballistic of every tiny little bit of whatever. Now, maybe it shouldn't be on my radar, too, at the same time to be looking at this news of it. It's like, because I'm not playing, I haven't been playing the game since uh, Elden Ring dropped. Because there's so much to do in Elden Ring. It's a completed game. Well, mostly completed game. But the standards of which they are right now compared to other games, it feels much more complete instead of be like, oh, you want to unlock this new area? Here's, we, uh, we purposely locked it behind some, uh, some stuff. We locked it behind a DLC that's coming out in the future. So we developed that during our development of the game. And you're not going to have access to it unless you pay us more money. Kind of deal. Whereas with Elden Ring, it's like, oh, look at that. I mean, they probably have some stuff, I, you know, kind of locked away. But not like some egregious amount. Like, like, I'm still trying to complete Elden Ring. I'm like oh, about 200 hours into it. Halo Infinite? I don't think I even... Let's see, actually, wait a minute. I might have been about 200 hours into it for Halo Infinite, now I think about it. But to complete it, to get all the achievements and stuff was a lot less. If I kind of boil that down to it, a lot of this grinding and stuff, unnecessary grinding for like weeklies or whatever, I would say I, uh, I put a lot less hours into it if I don't try to do the grinding stuff for like, oh, look at this cosmetic, let's get that. Or something, you know? Whereas in Elden Ring, I'm grinding. I'm trying to figure out things. Figure out where I need to go, where to find, what to see, what to do. Dying over and over again. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun trying to figure this out. Trying to get different endings. I need to beat it one more time, and I can pick the other endings I haven't done yet, and then I get all the achievements in uh, Elden Ring. For now. Okay, let's see something here. Oh, I like how it highlights the green right now. One item. Basement one plus basement. We're just gonna pop it in here. I guess we could, we could just take this with us. They added quite a bit of stuff in uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, so that's... But that's a separate team, so it's not really entirely 343. It's like a skeleton team. But also, like, the game wasn't working for, like, about a decade. <laughs> Mostly. Oh my god. Look at these flies. That green fly right there? I think it turns into two green, two flies if I blow them up. Yeah. I think my shot speed's a little low or something. 
It was my tears. Oh. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, lordy. Range up, huh? Another one? Like, I need another one? But okay. Let's entertain the idea that I need another one, then. Game? Yes, that's why I said game. Oh God, he said the word. He's directing his attention to the game and nobody else. I didn't have an object. Dude, I keep dying in this game. Look at that. Dude, I, I, I was not in the way. Dude. Okay, that was my mistake there too. I think when I rant like that, like a fake rant even, <laughs> it's throwing me off. Oh god. Gotta concentrate, not be talking. Yeah, I am. Keep talking. Why not? Anyways, um, I mean, Destiny could be something like that, too, be an issue. With, uh, certain players. Like, when I was playing it, like, okay, going back with that Kalo Infinite, like, when I was playing a lot of, uh, multiplayer and stuff. There was this just con- Like, there was a lot of toxic, you know, people- yelling screaming threatening starting stuff with others and stuff and i just like completely turned off any kind of volume coming from that like at all from my tv from my speakers from my xbox everything every source it was too much it, even when i wanted to do it even in an arena which is like a very competitive thing i had to turn it off because it was the toxic you know, environment was all over the place. And I just had to like, you know, do something about it. Of course, uh, I decided the best thing to do is stop trying to grind arena out. That was pretty cool over there, by the way. I hardly even used this item. Stop grinding out arena if the game hasn't even been fixed with net codes and stuff. Friends till the end. And just wait it out, because, like, man, I was so frustrated with it. And you know what? I feel pretty good. And I've been playing Elden Ring, and I directed my frustration with me being dying constantly in, in that game. But it's a fun kind of thing where it's not like, you know, whatever in Halo. Oh, desync did that to me. Ha ha. I thought I blew that guy up, but I didn't. Ha ha. Here we go again. Oh, that guy shot me through a wall. Ha ha. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I, I try to get away from it. It's just, and it feels great to get away from that where it's like, oh, well. I hear people talk about, like, I can't believe this was going on with the game. Da, 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 da. And... They're still playing the game. And so I think my mistake was, like, keep playing the game. I keep getting frustrated from it and be like, what's going on? Why is it not being fixed? I should have just, like, left sooner once I got my last of my achievements that I can get. For now. Yeah, I'm still a little vocal about it. I'm a little cheese still, but, like... Not as much as if I just kept grinding it out. It makes a world of difference if I uh, kind of clear my head a bit and uh, just just stop playing. I mean, no one's making me play, right? Now I could have done the same thing with Elden Ring. I've had so many like, well, not so many. I had quite a few like frustrating parts where it's like, oh, I lost all my ruins, or. You know, I screwed something up or whatever, you know? 
But no, I keep going because, like, you know, there's lessons to be learned, of course, and uh, it's fun to, like, you know, keep going. Yeah, I died to a horrible boss. A hor no, I'm not like horrible where it's like, you know, oh, this game wasn't designed to be, you know, too well. No, nothing like that. A horrible boss is in, like, the guy is, like, super powerful, and I can hardly dodge because I don't know how to much, I don't know much about dodging. Also, what the heck is giving me charges? Is is this what the item does? If I get a hit, I can build up a charge too. That's interesting. But no, it's a kind of it's a fun kind of like frustration. As masochistic as it sounds, um, because I can go around and. Uh, you know, try it again and again. Now I've built up such a momentum to where, like, I'm not dying as much because, like, I'm probably over level. That's probably part of it. <laughs> it helps. Um, and also, I have more of an idea where to go as I keep resetting the game. Of course, I heard NG plus 7 is supposed to be pretty ridiculous. We'll see. I mean, I, I mean, I'm at NG plus three, so I'm kind of like not even past the half halfway point right now to know if that's something. What do you do? Uh huh. You do that. Uh... I didn't. I didn't go to my devil room. Okay. Honestly, we'll take the shovel. Shit. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I was going to screw it up somehow. Okay, so we need to like... There we go. Hey, we returned to the little dirty mine. Our filthy friends. Essentially, I mean, what a, what kind of boils down to it is like, you know, you do what you want to do for fun, right? I mean, that's pretty obvious for like games. If you feel like you're frustrated, you know, it does help significantly to take a break. Like I've seen some gamers who keep whacking at a boss over and over and over again for like many hours and getting more and more angry and frustrated. I mean, depending on per the person, of course, you know, how they react to it. By all means, but like... I get it. I got frustrated with, frustrated with games in the past with, uh... With bosses and stuff where it was just like... Where do I even do at this point kind of deal, you know? But I, I mean, I've seen some adverse reactions of like people yelling, screaming, breaking things over a boss and stuff, which I don't know. Like people are built different. I don't really get those kind of reactions. Yeah, I'll get a little bit angry, a little heated, but like nothing overboard. I'm not saying I'm the perfect one or anything. It's just that, uh, It helps to take breaks. Like, that's what I kind of did when I did my first playthrough of uh, Elden Ring. I went back and I uh, was checking out different areas, and that's how I was able to level up and get some cool stuff and check out different places and do different things. Because the game allows you to do that. Not be like, you know, you're, oh, I'm stuck at this boss and doing it over and over again. Now, I get it where it's like... You do it to kind of compete against others to beat the game soonest and stuff like that. That's what draws in views. Me, I, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try to just get a bunch of stuff, be a completionist.
A completionist in the sense of getting like every like talisman and whatever they could be collected. Not like oh I'm gonna farm Well actually I did farm yesterday for uh a second dagger, which I kind of gave up on that, and I think that's a good thing, because I already have one. And I think by the time I come back to that volcano thing, my my discovery luck thing should be a lot better. As long as I raise my arcane more. But, uh, yeah, they're not kidding that the luck rate on that is, uh, fairly low. You know, the RNG drop rate being very low, I mean. Oh, what was so amazing? Spiders, I'm glad I came back for some spitters. I'm kind of curious what DLC is going to look like. I don't know when that's going to be. It's going to be probably... Probably late in the year, we probably get some kind of an announcement or something. By all means, take your time with it. People have been finding some cut content, too. Looks interesting. Might be included in the DLC or future patches. I got a patches. I gotta do a, a quest line for patches. And whoever else. Yeah, so there's still quite a few things to do in the game. I, I hear that it people are comparing it to Breath of the Wild, which is, uh, I think that's the Legend of Zelda game. And our, and Arika, or Arcaria, or whatever, of time. It's another one. Which I've heard of those games. I think I might have played very little of one of those games at, like, a, at a, uh, Oh, what's that video store? It closed down recently around the U.S. Um, not Blockbuster. Well, no, in the Blockbuster I didn't play a Zelda game. Like, in the stand, it was uh, Family Video. And I played very little of it. I mean, I didn't have enough time to get into it, of course, because, like, I was a kid. And didn't have much time at the video store to do anything. Um... I mean, I imagine if I were to, like, play it, I'd probably get into it. I don't know. I never really play, played a Zelda game. I'm not being sincere about it, like. I don't know. It's It was just, like, other games I played. I wasn't really... I wasn't really there for, like, the early Nintendo stuff, like Nintendo 64 or... Any yet. Well... A little bit of NES I played on somebody's. Um, it was like the original Super Mario. And uh, Super Mario 3. A little bit of Duck Hunter. Stuff like that, but like... N64, never owned, never had. Um, and what else? Like, I've heard of people having an N64, kids in school and stuff like that. Um, I heard of it. I didn't pl play much of it. So, I never got to experience... Kirby games. That's a big one, I guess. Uh, and a bunch of others. So we got the stars cards. That means it might take two items away instead of one. 
But it'll give us four items, right? Well, you might be able to get an Archie out of this. Potentially. change one of these rooms and oh the big room actually might be pretty good for this um yeah i don't know it's oh it doesn't work that way really I've talked about before about other games I used to play and stuff when I was a kid. It's just things change so much, and I sound like a boomer, I guess, or whatever, an old person. But uh, it's true, man. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. I guess it's just whatever. I'm getting up there. I I'll admit. So is everybody in the planet? Everybody's gonna get old some way or another. I did see that they, re they uh, there was an announcement trailer for Over Overwatch 2 or something like that, which I never even played. The first one, and like, I heard of it. I've seen pl people play the first one a little bit, and it's, I don't know, not my cup of tea. Uh-huh. Well, you know, the funny thing right there, I just did. Spin down dies. What is sped down dice gonna do? For well, we're gonna definitely take that. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, now it's telling me what's gonna turn into here. See, that's what I was hoping that we get as well. Mimic card effect. Yeah. Hold map to show description. So what is I'm confused. Is it gonna row roll a roll into that and then that and then that and then that, huh? How how is this gonna So the nail is going to turn into that. Okay, uh, space bar. Okay, I see, I see. Let's see what's going on here. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. I think that was a fair trade there. So anyways, games. Gamers. I don't know. Like I was talking about communities and then it just kind of trailed off. I don't know much about whatever. You got the speedrunner community. I, I don't know much about them other than competing for times and finding ways to break the game. I guess that's creative. I mean, they had they would have to play the base game you know for fun before they can figure out the glitches right figure out the mechanics how the game works you can argue that um i mean it's like i don't know like i did watch a couple of 
speedrunner videos recently, the Elden Ring ones. Just very curious how they did it, what they avoided. Of course, it's probably be one of those lands where it's like, oh, you didn't beat the game. You didn't beat the game if uh, you beat it under 10 minutes. <laughs> Memes. Well, actually, he did. He didn't. He only died once, and he was able to to become the Elden Lord faster than you did. He bypassed all the bosses. So you died a lot more than he did. So you didn't beat the game right. Oh, you're being all silly goose right now. You didn't keep your eyes closed. You didn't beat the game. Somebody made a review video about Elden Ring. And then they were like using analogies to what this this minority of community members were doing with that kind of environment. Because it seems like when he was doing his review, he was also having people, uh, some of these kind of individuals being very toxic to him for the game. It's like, oh, you're not playing it right, or you're not doing this right. I mean, that's backseating, which is, it happens a lot of, with a lot of games. You're streaming it and stuff. But with this in particular, it's more of a Souls thing where it's like, oh, well, you picked up this item, so you, you're you using summons and you didn't beat the game. Like, I use summons. I mean, I was playing the game for a reason. And it's not like I'm cheating or anything. Not like I'm zipping across the map with a sword and speed running. I'm not saying that's cheating, <laughs> but I mean, like, man, like everybody, you know, everybody's got a, a way to play, right? Any kind of way. They have their own kind of style. Like I have my own kind of style. You have your own kind of style. I have my, everybody does, you know? Like it's, it's human nature. We're not like some animatronic tronic you know robotic you know thing we're all doing the same thing at the exact same time we all have different experiences nasty twoof Doesn't make it make it right for me to be, uh, you know, being right about the game. And be like, oh yeah, I'm I'm good at this, and therefore your opinion is invalid. No, everybody everybody has their own opinion about what's good and what's not good with play style of games. And as long as we can speak about these opinions, you know, peacefully and not. You know, being hostile about it and threatening and stuff, like... And now that, that helps things out tremendously. It, it creates this open dialogue of, like, you know, learning from one another. Like... When I was a kid... Oh, go I, this This old man's talking about being a kid again. Yeah, well... <laughs> let me... Let me, uh... Let me explain here. When I was a kid... I used to use online guides... This is long before YouTube. Used to use like online forum sites and stuff like that. Some game sites for like walkthroughs, cheat codes. Um, you know, especially with Game Shark stuff. When I use some of that, Game Shark action replay. 
I even found like a set of codes somewhere in some form that was not posted in any any kind of gaming website anywhere. But like that one forum post and I posted it elsewhere. On a public site for like codes for uh a game. Like they had some codes for action replay and game shark. It's either one of those things. But they didn't have them all. And so I posted those other ones on there years ago. I'm glad that I did. Now, I mean, nowadays you can run those games on emulators and then you could just use some kind of a program to cheat in the cheat engine. But back then, that wasn't like anything like that. Oh, I'm aware about this thing here. This, uh, spike thing. If I know how to hit it right. Okay. Guppy's tail. Do we want Guppy's tail? Did I even get a guppy item? I don't think I ever have. Why not? With guppy's tail and the, uh, other thing. Might as well take this. And so, like, the guide stuff has been very helpful, finding out what I need to go and do. Especially something like Elden Ring. You imagine if you just went in blind. Like, okay, so I did mostly went in blind. But then I went back and I uh, started doing guides to find out, okay, how do I do this mission? How do I complete this? How do I find that? You know what I mean? Because it, it's such a vastly big game. It's like very different compared to like a lot of other games I've ever played. And so, that kind of experience uh, was totally different for me to deal with. <laughs> As such, I am sponsored by Norton VPN. No, I get it. <laughs> Norton VPN, is that still a thing? See, I thought Norton VPN was like owned by the same company that owns the Norton antivirus thing, but I was wrong. Oh, wow, Steam sale. That's cool. Sissy's next on there, and then that battery thing, and then whatever. Okay. Maybe yeah, I should have saved my charge. Oh boy. He's full of hot takes right now. Get them while they're hot. Like I could have I could have like found my way in certain parts of the game with like the main mission on my own, but like everything else is like that take a long time. I only have so much time on this planet, you know.
Okay. Sorry, little dude. But you just got in my way. Please understand. So we can roll again here if we want to. Which I more certainly will. Let's see here. Charm of the Vampire. Yeah, that fly guy and that one. All right, then what we got here left? Oh, look at that. Here comes the first full circle of that book there. Dark bum's neck for that one. Treasure map is whatever. We're going to take these two. Oh, we don't really need dark bum, do we? Yeah, a couple transformations. Big old thick fly, old big old thick boy. Look at him, just all nonchalant there, soaking up much of my screen. <coughs> okay. So we're doing okay here. Oh, hello. If I had nuns have it, like, I could have uh, got more charges. But no, the game has to just be so high. Oh, there's an attempt there. I guess we just grab it, whatever. We might be able to get a charge in this fight. Just kidding. Look at that, if you had rolled that a few more times, you would've got less, uh, empty vessel again. Better luck next time, haha. <laughs> I guess we'll just take this. I don't know if we get hit 15 times in a row, we might be able to get something. Whoopee, we don't even know what anything is. Actually, my health, I guess, but not. But to say it's like, oh, I can't see what the stuff I got is. No, that's not true. It's my health. Maybe that battery item wouldn't have been bad. I mean, extra charges that I don't need to use. Damn, man, wow. I need flight for sure. I don't know what happened there. Because I wasn't paying attention now, huh? Every time he does this, every time, and he doesn't learn his lesson. Can you believe that? I don't know what our health is, but we're gonna take our balls of steel here. It's max, I know that, but. Oh boy. Get away from me, you little monster. I was hoping to get like an arc key or something at that secret room. Can't give it to you so easily now, can they? Oh yeah, that happened. I think there might be a second curse room around here. 
since we got that one item. Oh, thank you, little dude. Who cares if you hurt me? He said it. He said it. Who cares if he hurts him? Who hurt you? I'm kind of running out of things to say, so I apologize. It's a little bit of a dry one today. Speed. Speed. Uh. Go, my swarm. I had this my last run, didn't I? That lucky coin. Look at these flies just like darting around like bzzz, we're gonna get you. Bzzz, we want your we want your your nectar. Bzzz. Only one of them survived. Friends till the end. Whoops. Well, we cleared that out. No luck. Well, maybe this art key could be found in the chest if we uh, get the right items that we need to roll. We get enough charges and enough rolls. We could do it. We could do it. Oh. There we go. Don't know where our health is, which is better than what not not knowing where our items are. What this hairball? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna burn love. Whatever. We can roll that thing again and get another guppy tail, and that'll give me three guppy items, I think, in theory. Assuming that works that way still. Oh, you troll bombs, huh? I think you're so cute with your troll bombs. Kind of struggling a little bit. This firepower. Uh, why not, I guess. No, you could have re-rolled that ten times and you would have got the R key. What are you doing? I know I noticed the quints are a different color. Pisces, okay. No, I'm a Sagittarius. And that guy died from his own madness. I can get that bean item again. That'd be fun. A little farting tooting item. Asian. Get away from me, you jerk. All right, does count. Confirmed. We'll pop that. 
So now we're the puss puss. You spawn all your flies you want, dude, but they'll be mine. They're my property. You can get magic marsh. Duplex, whatever. Item disappears, really? Oh, I guess because like positioning and stuff for that item numbering thing won't work on that dice. It's that damn thing again. I don't know if I want two of you. I'll grab this anyways. This guy. Wank ruin. Well, that could give us potentials for anything, right? Potentials for anything, right? Uh, block ruin, okay. I'll give us stats. Flies. Hey, a couple more rerolls, Sonny. You can, uh... You have another magic mush. I know it's gonna hurt me. Okay. That looks kinda cool. Not up on your A game, huh? Why not, I guess. More firepower and directional power. <laughs> yeah, like this, this was a fun run. Last run could have been something, but I goofed that up. Guess we get a victory. And we became Guppy. That was a Perthra right there. Hmm. This could be useful. IBS. Heck. Let's see. Down here then. more range. We got it. Okay, we might be able to find our secret room then. Here. That's our last opportunity for an R key. Unless we get a delirium portal and and we might be able to pull something off with a secret room or something down there. This has potential. This says has potential. Okay. Potential. No! I failed miserably with that. Uh, try to push that away from him and save his life. Whatever, we'll grab this. I'm not taking IBS. Well, where you know it, 
We get the rare portal. All right, let me just get some health first, for God's sake. Felt his bone heart. Well, I guess the show must go on, huh? It's not over yet. <laughs> Curse of the Lost is the worst damn thing on this floor. I, ma I made a, a huge mistake coming here. I made a tremendous mistake. Now the good news is I, uh, I got that, uh, dog tooth, so that's gonna tell me where to go. For stuff. Yeah, why not? Isaac? What are you doing down here, buddy? I guess we're take Bombo. Oh, look at that. Not really, really anything worthy there, huh? Never fly. Which it looks like it's been reworked too. Or something, personally. Golden key, thank you. We, sh we should go through this like very, very quickly. I can't hold back our powers too long. And he becomes mom's pad, dynamite, and then a couple other mom's items. Come on now. Come on, man. Just drop. Block ruin. Okay. I didn't even get really much out of drops from the chests. Don't I have mom's key? I thought I had mom's key. Yeah, it was like last run, wasn't it? Something like that. Got the all-powerful golden poops on our side now. The enemies are quaking in their boots right now. Bloat. Just talked about you, Bloat, last run. I didn't last run the other day. Number two. More like you. You know, it's weird that we haven't found Delorium yet. I'm very lucky, I guess. So much stuff on my screen. Another Bombo. Why? Whatever, we'll take the Halo of Flies. We're the dirtiest of all flies right now. And you know what? Let's open up all these. Oh, 
both the bumbles are just sliding for that monkey. Super Sega Realm. Prevents those from spawning. You know what? Might as well here. We're not going to use that paperclip anymore. No more paperclip. Give our golden key supply. Whatever, we'll take it. See how apathetic I am? Picking up things, I'm like, eh. We're already too powerful. We wanna keep going with this. Thing we can potentially get is uh, a death certificate. That's another thing. It can happen. Bumbo, share with Bumbo. Keep finding dead ends, too. That's funny. That's hilarious. Get me out of this perpetual hell. Alright, that one bubble is ready to go. Oh, here we go. This way then? Or this way? Like if I could just get it. Stop! come so far like if I could f if I get some butter 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 but her but her we can roll something there Okay, I don't even know where the heck I am. I'm feeling extra generous today. There you go. Now Bumbo, let Bumbo finish his food. Okay, we're like up somewhere, aren't we? Well, there could have been a potential R key. If I can find that trinket. Spun. So another transformation. Another dead end. They're never going to leave, and that's okay. We're going to find our way out. It's just going to take a while. Now, a temperance machine. There's something right there. Let's kill this guy first. If we can. Let's say if we can. Yeah. 
Because if we can get a drop out of the temperance machine, we can use that to roll whatever we want to roll. Try to roll into in the uh, secret room. If it pays out. See, that's the big thing. If it pays out, and then that implies, like, if I run out of red hearts, I'm going to have to go back and uh, hunt up some more. So that'd be fun. The run wasn't even more difficult enough to, like, find my way around to get here. Wow, you killed, you killed, what's his name? That's such a surprise. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so let's go back here. Cigarette. Oh, of course, you want me to have my fun. Come on, pay out, you little bastard. Oh, you dark bomb, I don't expect you to give me anything. Or, I mean, what's your name? Oh my god, are you seriously gonna do that to me? Are there even that many red hearts on the ground? I'm very curious, seriously. If only you can give me a full health pill there. Make my dream come true. I got that. I've just not like not many things to go off on. Just little scraps here and there. Surely it would pay out, right? Anytime soon. Don't have that many red hearts around here. Okay. I thought I had a lot more. Another boss fight, okay. A couple of them, actually. Give me something good that's gonna help with this process. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, a D6, that, that's a start. I guess we just take this. Or oh, get it. Really? You don't know what to do. Okay, well. 
Nerds. You don't know what to do. Actually, let's go back here. And... Uh, Pick up that dies. Take it with us. So we're not gonna use that other thing anymore. Oh, there's that fallout there too, okay. Whatever, we'll just take this with us. So I think I have a, maybe a general idea where to go. Maybe, just kidding, I'm lost again. Hello, Bob's brain, welcome to the party. I lost again. One of the worst curses in the universe, the game. Game of the universe. Okay. There we go. All right, we got one item. Don't pick it up for God's sake. I can't see shit. You ultimate asshole. Okay, whatever. Okay. We're gonna... Try this floor again? All right, raw lever, just whatever. No. All right, don't give me that curse again. Thank you. No curses at all, great. Second opportunity here. No way to reroll though. But maybe, just maybe, we're lucky. Might find a uh, secret room with items in it. You eat up all that. Don't blow me up, for God's sake. Destroy all those guys. Alright, so we got a quarter in this room. So, if we could find another way to reroll that. Which we could with our dice thing. Not that I slain, but our, uh... Ruin bag. It drops in the right ruin. So there's one in here? Oh. Okay. Come on now. I don't know if our key could be like spawnable in uh, these rooms, boss rooms or something. Get out of here. Monsters, but then you know what? That's a good ruin. I guess we'll pick this up.
I guess we'll grab this. Okay. Might not, not have been a good idea to pick it, that uh, battery thing up, but if we find a dice. Blank ruin. That's a hell of a risk. If I do that, but let's frick it. Let's do it. Interesting. Ah, I'm going to try something here. Because if it gives us some higher quality items, that might give us a chance. To get us something nice. Scent oil. Not what I'm looking for. Little sci fly action there. I think. Now it's money equals power. Soul of Apollyon. Apollyon. That was Apollyon. I'm not seeing much hope here. Not much hope at all. I think it was all for naught. We tried. Another fly item. We're not just filled with flies ourselves. And delirium. What a wacky run. A long run, too. Good lord. Over an hour. We won, though. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.